Hi, Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. Today we're going to take a look at revealing details when you have to show details, but doing it in levels instead of all at once. Now this is something that I see very commonly in financial presentations. And indeed today's slide comes from a financial presentation talking about year-end results. And what they've done, unfortunately, is typical of financial presentations, is they, they simply copied a spreadsheet onto the slide. And so what happens is there's just an overwhelming amount of numbers and details on the slide, and it becomes very difficult for anybody in the audience to understand it. So what we're going to talk about today is how do we take that sort of a slide and make it more effective. So let's look at the slide that uh, I selected for today's makeover. So here's our slide, and it comes from a year-end financial report from a local school board. You can see that this is uh, overwhelming, and in fact, it is a spreadsheet that has been imported or actually inserted onto this slide. If you double-click on it in edit mode, you actually can open up that spreadsheet. So this is typical. Unfortunately, what happens is we do a lot of calculations, especially for financial information in Excel, and then we just dump it onto a slide and it is overwhelming. Now they have done a good job in terms of making uh, a call out the red oval there and that text is a little larger to show, you know, here's the important number as to why this accumulated surplus is lower. But when you just put it up on the slide, it becomes difficult. People aren't really sure how to interpret it. So let me show you what we can do. First thing is that we can go to a higher level view. So in this case what I did is I just uh, cut out the pieces that were the high level view to say okay there's been a decrease in the surplus and here's why. This is the major component. So I've put a headline on this slide decrease in surplus due to decrease in board established ASAFC. Now don't worry I don't know what those terms mean either if you're wondering what they are and it really doesn't matter. The concept here is, is we start at the higher level. We decide, we're going to show them the higher level and say here, over, well over 90% of the overall decrease drawdown is due to this one area. Then what we do is we say, okay, let's look at that one area and see what contributed, what uh, was the, the components for that particular drawdown. Go to the next slide and say, now, when we break it out, here are the components and this spot right here, the majority of it is because of that one change and it was actually a regulatory change. The regulations changed and we were required to submit all of that non-designated money to the regulatory board because of the change that they made. So that's what contributed in a very large part to the overall increase. Again, the headline says the decrease in that particular section was caused by a regulatory change. They eliminated our ability to have a non-designated surplus. What we did is, is we showed them high level first and then we drilled in to the details to show. This way we, they can follow the story. Otherwise the story is too complex. So what are the lessons? Well before we get there, reminder if you want more information on the book go to www.visualsliderevolution.com for more information on my training, consulting, videos, webinars, other resources go to www.thinkoutsidetheslide.com. Our lessons today uh, from our makeover that talk about revealing details in levels. First of all, it is overwhelming if you put the entire spreadsheet on the slide and show it to the audience. In fact, in the presentation that I drew this slide from, there were some slides that had even more information on them because it was a spreadsheet copied in. Just because you calculate it in Excel doesn't mean you have to put it onto your slide. Take some time to think through, how do I want to help the audience follow my message, follow my story? Step them through the information. If it's sequential, do it that way. If in this case it was high level and then go into the detail, do it that way. But take some time to think about how am I going to step them through the message, the information that I have, and then create layers. So you can do it on multiple slides, and that's what I did in this makeover. I had two different slides. One was the high level, and then I did the detailed. You could do the detail on the same slide and have it zoom in. Um, sometimes multiple slides are easier to print, so that's why I prefer that sometimes. And then what you also notice I did is I used callouts and they did a callout as well. They had that red oval and that's a good idea. Uh, use a callout so that you can focus people's attention because even when you 
when you do a smaller amount of, of information from a spreadsheet, it's still a lot, really. So use a call out to focus their attention. Anytime you have to present details, especially financial details, use the lessons from today's makeover to reveal those details in levels so your audience can follow along. This has been Dave Parody with another Slide Makeover video podcast.